Here we go. All right, so the rhythm game is very easy. Um, and you can't really play it well. You can kind of, you can, I, I'm going to play it for you, but you're not going to be playing the rhythm game until you actually draw it yourself. So the rhythm game, we start out, feeling rhythms is easy. Get your whiteboard. First, we draw numbers. Imagine you get your fingers out and draw them in the air like this and count with me. We go one, two, three, four. Now, draw vertical lines. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Yes. Now, horizontal lines. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Yes, very good. Now we can play the rhythm game. So the rhythm game is very, very easy and simple. You can do it on a post-it note. Absolutely, you can do it whatever you want. The bigger it is, the easier it will be. That's why I've done a giant, giant one. So you don't have to worry, Elena, because you're, I'm, you're, I'm going to do it for you. But you can do your own versions of these as well. So the rhythm game is very simple. No, don't worry, I got it, I got it. I'm the teacher, I got the whiteboard. So all we're going to do is we're going to choose two numbers per horizontal line. And I'm going to put a red mark on them. Elena, would you like to start? Oh, no, Skratsky, would you like to start? Would you like to choose two numbers for our top horizontal line? Our top horizontal line. Our top horizontal line. Anybody know numbers? Anybody know numbers? High and fat, low and fat. Numbers. One, two. High and fat, low and fat. Two and four. I'm going to ask also, could you guys please put them in ascending order? Otherwise, it hurts my brain. Two and four. Very good. We have two and four. Elena, you're next. Think about your numbers. Two and... Two and four. Two and four. Very good. We got two and four on our first line. <coughs> Before we do any lines, you got... Oh, oh, uh, just two. Just two, Elena. Just two. Just two numbers, Elena. And until then, because now we can start playing the rhythm game. It's very simple. Count the numbers, and you clap the marks. So I will show you. It goes like this. Are you ready? It goes one, two, three, four. Easy, right? You guys ready? Would you like to do it four times while I beatbox? Are you ready? A one and a two and a here we go. This is actually how you clap to groovy music, by the way, guys. You don't clap on one and three. You always clap on two and four. Oh, that, that's okay. I'm sorry, Elena. Oh, your little kitty's so sad. You know, it's okay. Three and four. Very good. Very good. Our next line is three and four. Would anyone else, anyone else in chat, anyone else want to add some rhythms to our rhythm game? Friends don't friend. let friends clap on one and three. Indeed, they don't. Indeed, they don't. Three and four. So we got two and four. Then we got three and four. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody know numbers? Anybody know numbers? High and fat, low and fat. High and fat, high and fat, low and fat numbers. I'm going to do one and two then, just to be the opposite. This line, I'm going to do one and two. Bum, 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 bum. I want someone else to chat. I want a lurker. I want a lurker to come out and be brave. I want you to leap across the room. I want you to leap across the room, not destroying anything, and give us some numbers for our last line of rhythm. We've got two and four. Oop. Oop. We've got two and four. We've got three and four. We've got one, two. Who is it? Who's there? Who is going to take up the call? Who is going to answer? Chris Alcox, you legend. You answered the call of the numbers. Bum bum bum. We got bum bum bum. Yeah, ba, bow. Yeah. You're gonna play the word game and rhythm game on the guitar. Yes, you are, Elena. One and three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Bum 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 bum. And here we now have. Oh, oh, am I not? You a streamer? Oh, you just shouted out. You shouted out, Chris. So I'm going to follow. Chris L. Cox. I've definitely seen you about the place, but I didn't know you streamed. Ooh, and I'm not following you. Yay! Yeah, follow, follow. 
I think Alena, did you tell us about Chris in your stream? Chris, you're a um a visual artist. Is do I remember that quite that correctly? Very cool. Very cool. <gasps> oh, Nam the Geek is live and I'm live and I can't go see him because I'm live with you guys. Oh, okay, guys. Okay. We're gonna finish after this word game because I want to raid Kevin. I want to hang out and check out how Kevin's fiddle is doing. You do a th community thing on Saturday night where people share on the Oh yes, yes, you told you told me in your stream, Elena. You told me. Very cool. I look forward to checking it out. He has barely been live. Take your time. Oh, very good. I, I'm not going to go. You're a graphics guy. Very cool. Very cool. I'm a not very good at graphics guy. Look at these are my graphics. Those are my kind of graphics. I actually feel quite at home in Minecraft. I think I think anything bigger than than one meter by one meter pixels <laughs> would be too much for me, honestly. Okay, so we are. I don't need this anymore. I don't need you. I don't need you. Get out of here. Get out. Bye bye. So here we have our rhythm game, and the rhythm game uh, is as is as hard or as easy as you want to make it, right? Because if we just want to clap the rhythm right and we don't put any challenge on ourselves, we there's no reason to get it wrong. There's no reason to get it wrong. You just you just wait until you're sure, and this is how you start the rhythm game. You go like this. You go. You look at it. And you go. Is there everything on one? No. Am I sure? Yes. So I'm going to say one and not clap. I'm going to say one. One. Yeah, I did it. Yay. That's not hard, right? It's easy. Ready? Uh, what about two in the first line? There's a thing. So I'm going to say two and I'm going to clap. Haven't made a mistake yet. Oh, oh no. Haven't made a mistake yet. You go whenever you want to go. You can look at your hands for like a long time. You'd be really think about that being a two. And you go two and that was correct that was correct flow state is not about doing things fast it's just about doing things right and then feeling right what about three is there anything on no so you go three is there something on four yes so let's go uh, tricked you. Uh, four easy easy right we'll do it a bit faster maybe we challenge ourselves we go one two three Oh. Easy. Easy. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Flow state isn't about fe speed. It's not about speed. It's about sensation. It's about being sure. Now, there are some things that where it, where it breaks down and where it becomes more challenging is where uh, there is actually a speed requirement, like riding a bicycle. You have to be going a certain speed in order to ride it correctly, right? kite surfing you have to be going a certain speed to get the thing out of the water and then you have to like consciously get yourself to that point and then trust to flow um so we go as slow as we need to do to get it right this is the point of the rhythm game and this is why you can play it down basically anyone who can count anyone who can count anyone who can count can play the rhythm game it's a bit harder but when kids aren't yet able to count. They can still clap and have fun. So I'm going to do the first two lines just nice and slowly. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I had to burp a little bit there. So you can do it fast. You can do it slow. You can do it fast. And this, Skratsky, is where I thought you might be interested in because I've been doing this for quite a long time. Are you ready? A one, a two. One, two, one, two, three, four, 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 with a, uh, um, uh, wait, it, it would be E, but I'm in E flat, so that would be E. So E's a E dominant nine chord. One, two, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Doesn't work quite so well on my guitar here. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
That's a pretty groovy rhythm, guys. And who wrote that rhythm? Did I write that rhythm? Did I write that rhythm? Did, who wrote that rhythm? Was that me? Was that me who wrote the rhythm? Was that me, the 12-year educator, contemporary composer, arranger, leader of the Afrobeat Orchestra? No, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was you guys. You guys wrote that rhythm. I just played it on my instrument. I'm like, oh, I could play this card, this chord. <laughs> So this game can already be used and like the funk, the funk strumming on a on a nylon string, not so not such a good guy there. Well, that was just no, this is rhythm game. Our word game could be chords. That way it gets very complicated. So one of the cool things about the rhythm game is that although it appears like you're counting slow, one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. You just count faster and you're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four stops being one, two, three, four. It becomes one e and a. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. So one full bar, one full rhythm game. This is rhythm game level one. You can condense all four of these lines by instead of having one, two, three, four, you have. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, and this is what I call level three e and a of the rhythm game, because this is about as far down as we subdivide, right? So can you imagine what this rhythm is? Look at this, this one e and a. Well, where are they? There's one on the one, there's one on the e, there's one on the and. So that's just a one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, one e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three. E. One E and one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and what about this yellow? What about this one? One E and two E and three E and four E and so the point is that rhythms don't like this is not it's not the case that this is a complicated rhythm. And this is a not complicated rhythm. It's just that one we've stretched it out. Sorry, this one we've stretched it out. So we have four bars of counting to four. One, two, three, four. Instead of four beats counting with four divisions. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it, it goes both ways. It goes backwards and forwards. It stretches to infinity in any direction. You can make it ludicrously fast. Is it an octopus? No, it's just fish. Oh, for a second, I got scared a bit. I heard, I heard the sound of water. I'm like, oh, there shouldn't be the sound of water in my house. And something's wrong there. So we're going to do something slightly different. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a word, an eight-letter word, and we are going to apply it to this rhythm game. And I'm going to do a little bit of beatboxing. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Elena, would you like to choose a word or anyone else? We have the words, the letters A through G. Um, and why don't we start with... How, do, how about we start with just E, F and G? How about that, Elena? Let's start with just E, F and G. So, what words? We've got eight letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to use the letters E, F, and G to make it easier for Elena to start with. How about, I'm going to start, I'm going to start with FEG. F. FEG. I'm going to start with FEG. F. 
and I'm going to actually build them into the thingy so it's easy to see. F, E, and G. I know. Don't, oh, you did. Good job. But we're not even, we're not thinking about chords. We're just doing notes. So what's our last? Feg, 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 F, E, G. What's our next note, Elena? What's our next note? We're just thinking single notes. We're not worrying about chords. F, E, G. Fe, feg, f okay, so our first word is feg, f and then we're going to start with just, just that, just that. Now, it's a bit weird. I didn't really give myself enough room. So, we are, let's first of all, let's first of all remind ourselves of the clapping rhythm, right? Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're just doing feg. F I mean, we could do feg, feg, feg. No, we can't do that. We could do feg, feg, fe. We have eight, eight letters. It's just for the sake of any, you can do these with other words. You can do it with triads. You can do it with different combinations of letters. We're just trying to combine the, l the notes and the rhythms. And I want to show you how to practice it because you can't practice it all at once. It doesn't work. It's too much. So the first thing we need to know is, okay, our first line of rhythm, we're playing, uh, clapping or playing on two and four, right? Now we practiced this. We practiced clapping on two and four, didn't we? One, two, three, four. But this time, we're now trying to play the notes. We need the notes F and E, right? So we go, and remember, as slow as we need. We get our F ready for one, two, three, four, yeah? One more time. F on two, one, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Yeah? I'll try again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, trying to do these individually can be tricky. Trying them do together is exponentially more trickier. And you have to always go back. And the point is, we practice and we test ourselves separately. Don't keep testing yourself and call it practice. It's not. It's like having a lovely steak that you're not sure whether it's cooked and you just keep slicing it open to check. Slice it open to check. You slice it open to check. You slice it open to check. You just put the steak's just going to die. Don't, don't, don't be testing yourself when you practice. Go as slow as you need to to be sure and really relish that feeling of I know that this, I know that this, this is F. I know that this is F. It's not about it's not about stopping yourself from messing up. It's the idea that if you've made a mistake in your practice phase, you've allowed in your practice phase, you've allowed yourself to test. You've 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 slipped into testing mode, right? Because practice is not about testing ourselves. Practice is about just really feeling it, really, really being solid in what it feels like. And then you try and do it in time, or you try and do it like that, and that's a test. But if you're all, always giving yourself things that make it harder, it's just not, it's just not necessary because that, that, that physical sensation of being upright, exactly, of building up muscle memory. But the problem is that often people accidentally build up muscle memory on mistakes in music without realizing. And this is what I, uh, I've written a story, a koan called The Guide to Self-Sabotage. And basically people... <clears throat> at least in the UK, people get it wrong and 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 then eventually get it right and like, oh, now I'm done. I got it right, so I'm done. And what they don't realize is that each time their body felt the sensation of doing it, it didn't know whether it was doing it right or wrong. It didn't feel whether that was the right or wrong. It just felt that it was so if you do lots and lots of things the wrong way, your body's learning what that feels like, and it's learning to feel that. But it's not 
it's not doesn't know that it's the wrong thing. It's just a thing that happened. So rather than get it wrong and 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 get it right, we switch it around. We go as slow as we need to to get it right. And then once we've layered the feeling of getting it right again and again and again and again, then we test ourselves, make it faster, see what happens, and our body might be like, ah, I panic. And then we're like, okay, our body's forgotten what it feels like. And we just have to go back in and overlay it again. So the feeling of a two is very simple. It's like this, two. That's it. That's all the two feels like, two. But what does two feel like when we're playing an F on two? It feels like this, two. Not two, not two, but two. So now, first line, one, two. Now that might be the only bit you practice. Maybe your brain just can't figure out how to make your body play the note on while saying two. One, two. And there's no reason that shouldn't be easy. It's only, re it's only hard if you don't give yourself enough time. And that is really all music practice can be like that. It can be as simple and easy as just playing one note on your instrument. Because all music is made up of notes. Right? So it's no harder. It's no harder than doing that. I mean, unless, yeah, you have to, like, stretch your hand over there. But, like, that's easy. It's easy. So let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That sounds lovely. We got feg. Shall we add some next notes? It's getting quite late. It's almost three in the morning. So we're gonna. I'm going to wrap this up a little quickly. And I'm going to let you guys experiment on your own. Because you don't need me to play this game. You don't need nothing. You don't need a book. You don't need me. You don't need the stream. Um, because it's all there for you guys to play on YouTube. And you can figure out how to combine them. Let's keep going. What's our next letters? You can, you know, I was going to do it for Elena. Elena, would you like to choose? Let's do uh, ab, ab, let's do ab, abka, abka, abka. I'm going to do, I'm deciding. I'm going to do abka. Ab. I've decided, I've decided, abka, abka. I like the sound of abka. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it sounds a bit like a cat. It's like an ABC cat. Abka. A, B, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ab. A, B, C. Easy as a one, two, three. Easy as a do, re, mi. Ab. Ka. And by the way, so you know, guys, this, this way of using the game gets absolutely amazing amazing results basically every time if we um i'm not gonna have the time and the energy to do any more arrangement <coughs> ah is b fret six elena elena what note is on fret seven are a and b separated by a semitone You're right. A and B are two semitones apart. So B is on fret 7. Two semitones. A and B are not E and F or B and C. So they are two semitones apart. So B is indeed fret 6. Sorry, sorry, fret 7. B is fret 7 because A and B are two semitones apart. You got it. <coughs> But you don't need to play B there if you want. Uh, just ears are confusing. You get it? You get it? Yes! Yes! Elena got it! Yes! Hit the gong! Let there be! Let there be gong noises! Yeah. You got You got it! You got it! Good job! No, it's that the scale has different sharps and flats depending on which note you start on. It's that the scale has different sharps and flats depending on which note. Ah, oh, oh, um, that's where things get a little, little more confusing, and why, which is why these notes don't sound like a scale exactly, depending on where you started. 
Um, I, I think in one, I think you're talking about a musical concept at the same time as saying where you started on guitar. So scale. Yeah, I know. I know. I, 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 I'm not going to try and decipher. I think we're, there are a couple of different things we're talking about at the same time there. Because where you started, I think you're talking about the guitar. Where I started was the open string. Ye yes, it's the scale has different sharps and flats depending. Yeah, yeah, no, yes, because the white keys, the white keys do not fit onto your strings as a major scale. Yes, okay, no, okay, sorry, no, you've, yes, you conflate, you've conflated, I think, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I don't, uh, yes, something like that. Yes, exactly. Zero, two, four, five is major scale for each string, but that doesn't mean white keys because that means E major, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A major, A, B, C sharp, D, uh, D major, D, E, F sharp, G, G major, G, A, B, C, B major, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, E major, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> each scale has its own combination of sharps and flats. Yes, correct, correct, yes. Not necessarily each and every scale, but each scale's within a key. So C major and the modes of C major have no sharps and flats. D major and the modes of D major have one sharp, etc. Two sharps, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Wow, that for you, that must have been a moment. Wow, okay, yeah, yeah. Two different concepts assaulting each other on two different instrument conceptions. Welcome to my world, yeah. Cool, huh? Keep keeps 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 getting even more doozy like that. Yeah. Let's go go bow, you sexy. I bet you do butt spot. Get get him out of here. This is supposed to be a, a family friendly stream. Butt spot with the wiggling the wiggling cat butt. Oh, that's definitely not family friendly, that wiggly cat butt. I mean I guess it is. I mean it's just a cat, right? Anyway. So we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. And uh, in the aid, because I need to, oh, bloody hell, it is, in fact, 10 to 3 in the morning. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right. So I could do a bit more work through you with the thing, but I'm just going to take it a little bit faster. I'm going to go like... <laughs> A bit of voice. So the first step is we clap the crosses. Are you ready with the one and a two? And a here we go. A one, two, three, four. 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 You got it. We're not playing notes. We're just clapping the crosses. And here we go. We're the one and two, three and four. One and a two and three and four. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You think you're hip to that? Great. Let's do it faster. Are you ready? One and two and one, two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Clap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Even faster. This is where you can kind of keep up if you want. You probably can't. We go a one, a two, a one, two, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Ah, this music is easy, man. That is stupid. It's just for kids. Ah, is it now? Are you ready? Let's see if I can play the word game at that speed. Oh, one, four, ah, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ah, three, four, a oh, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, ah, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, ah, where's my A? There we are. 
One, two, ah. Aye, here we go. Out, one, two, three, four. 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 So that is with the notes. Let's record it. Here we go. And two, a one and a two and a one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And here is a word rhythm game. Let's add in another one at double speed. We get a one, two, three, four, one. I'm doing it backwards.
All right. All right, here we go. With the bass line. One more. I'm going to do just the first two lines, but I'm going to change the notes slightly. Instead of doing fig, F E G F, I'm going to do F E G I'm going to do D. I'm moving down a third. So I'm going to do D C E D. D C E D. Dickhead instead of feg D C E D, but I'm only on trombone, so it's gonna be D C E D. It's gonna be E D F sharp F sharp F sharp E E D F sharp. Second line, second two lines. That's really cool, actually. When you do that, it looks like there was things moving up and down it. That's that's really cool. That's cool. Yo, I love these new emotes. <laughs> They're like flickering. So each of these things that you're hearing here, each of these lines, I made no decisions. I made no decisions. We chose the rhythms. We chose the notes. I maybe harmonized one. 
The only thing I did, I added a beat. Sometimes I played the line forward. Sometimes I played the line backward. One of them was I literally did it in reverse from the end, which is called retrograde, which is something you learn about in music A-level and music college, and Bach did it. What does it mean? Play it backwards. Inversion, what does it mean? Play it upside down. Retrograde inversion, what does it mean? Play it upside down and backwards at the same time. Like, this is what Bach did, guys. I try, I tell that to some of my students sometimes. Like, they write a word. So they've done the word. They've done, you know, abka. I'm like, hey, have you tried playing that backwards? They're like, what do you mean, have I tried playing it backwards? I'm like, have you just tried playing the notes in reverse order? They're like, what do you mean? That's silly. And you're like, well, Bach did it. And they're like, what? And you're like, yeah, it's called, it's called retrograde. What does it mean? Play it backwards. And then you get cool mirror. And then you just get a cool mirror, you get cool music. It just happens. It's because music just sounds good. Music's not hard, guys. It just sounds good. It just takes times. It just takes... To make instruments sound nice, you have to A, breathe. Uh, and you have to B, want them to sound nice. And you have to C, play them until they sound nice. It's It's not hard. It just takes time. How long does it take to cook a cake? As long as it takes. How hard is it to cook a cake in less time than it takes to cook a cake? To bake. Can you bake a... T okay, here's a question. People want to learn music quickly. Can you bake a, ca a cake in less time than it takes to bake a cake? Well, obviously no. <laughs> like, no. Not at one atmosphere, yeah. Because it's either... Music is either... It's like baking cakes. It's either easy or it's impossible. It's like a souffle. If you need to look inside the oven, it's already too late, man. It's too late. It's either easy or it's impossible. You just, it's, just, it's done. It's fine. How is it? It's fine. And maybe the first 200 you make are shit. But you keep, you keep, you keep at it. You keep, you keep wanting, you want that souffle. And eventually, you get a souffle on trombones. Maybe you get some other things on guitar. <laughs> it just sounds funny. Should we try reversing something? Yeah! Yeah, reverse trombones! <laughs> so, my friends... That was the rhythm game and the word game combined together. The rhythm word game. And I think that was the first time we've done that. I think that's the first time that's been done in the public domain. Uh, I've done it, in, obviously, in my lessons before. But it's it's one of my favorite ways of playing these games. Because it, you just take all the decisions out of it. And you just get super, super cool, crazy, s silly, 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 silly sounds. Silly sounds. And then someone plays it on a trombone, you're like, actually, that sounds pretty sick. And remember, at any point, if you do want to make decisions, and you'd be like, oh, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to make it with, you know, a, a, a D minor triad in the key of A minor. So I'm going to go one chord one, then chord four, then chord five. Then you can, and it just keeps sounding better and better and better and better. And better and better. And better and better. Better, better. Getting better all the time. Whoa! Whoa! Damn! This is pretty spicy! It's some spicy jazz! <laughs> 